So in the hook here we have a mullet straggle back and the materials you need for this are a size 12 wet fly hook, some blue peacock neck, some uh, straggle string, uh, semper fly in black, uh, two red glass beads and some black thread and let's get into how to tie it. In the hook we have a Camasan B175 uh, size 12 wet and we have added two at least I have added two killer caddis beads so two red glass beads um, these are the ones that I've used not sure who makes them but I'm sure you'll find out uh, but you can get glass beads from uh, hobby stores and so on to use on this fly so uh, the thread is Semperfly Nano 18O in black the 30 uh, denier this is quite thin I want to keep the body of this fly quite thin so we're going to just attach the thread behind the beads and start bringing it down towards the bend of the hook and snip off. The great thing about this fly, it's not too difficult to tie and you don't need a lot of materials. But when you're dealing with standard freshwater hooks and salt water, you're going to need to tie a few of these um, just to have some spares over time. The tail is blue peacock neck, which is this stuff, and it's nice blue shine to it. Mullet like blue, and they like red. So we're going to pull off just a pinch of these, uh, maybe six or so, and just line them up about the length of the shank. Be ideal. Just tie them in on top, like so. A little bit long, no, short, tiny bit, and I'm going to wrap these up, and that's going to push the beads forward as well for us. Trim off. So you notice I'm not building thread up here behind the beads. I'm quite happy to to leave those and um, just use the materials just to push the beads forward. So I'm going to go back down. And I'm going to add in the body, which is Semperfly Straggle String in black. And this has a really nice blue UV through it. So again, in keeping with um, the, the mullet light blue, as well as red, that blue shine seems to be a nice attractor to them. So I'm just going to tie this in. And what I want to do is just leave it run the tag part up as far as the back of the, the two beads. So just wrap the thread up, again just pushing up onto the back of the beads and then we're just going to bring our straggle string forward. So we want a nice thin body. Sometimes you get an odd long piece of straggle that sticks out. If you get that you can just trim it after. So right up to the back of the beads and then just two lock and turns behind and two in front and I'm just going to put a half hitch or two in to secure now look this thread is thin so it might be hard for you to actually see this going on but we'll see what happens two just snip off I'm just going to add a bit of lacquer to the thread and put in a, a wood finish. So I'm using this uh, head lacquer uh, called Moiba or Melba that I get from Piscari Fly. And I like this a lot. Has a nice needle in the cap, nice applicator needle. So I um, find it really good. There's grooves on the needle which help just hold a little bit of 
of lacquer onto the tread. Now you can add the lacquer afterwards as an option, or I might even do both just to be extra secure. So try not to put it between the beads or trap down too much of your straggle. Like so, and then you can add a second one if you want, but it's two half hitches and that. And the whip it should, it should be good and secure and just add just another drop of, of lacquer around the beads there. And there you have it, it's, a, it's been working really well for me recently as a point fly for uh, golden grey mullet in particular. Stay tuned for some more fly videos in the future.